Uh, I stole my dad's video camera when I was like a little skate rat back in the day, and I just filmed everything. I just had a basic idea, and it just kind of turned into film because I've loved watching films and, and uh, being an actor for films and things like that. When I was in third grade, we had this uh, after school program that um, was about editing on iMovie HD, which is like the program like on old Macs like back then. And uh, I, I thought it was like really great and I just like started making videos. And so, yeah, that, that was like the first thing. The main difference between what we do and uh, teen indie film is, uh, one, we are making stories for our clients. So someone comes to us with uh, a project or an idea and then we kind of build it from there and work with them to create the story. And then we also, we probably have, compared to like a teen indie film, we probably have a little bit bigger budgets. Anything that I really have in my savings account, uh, I normally use for equipment if I need to buy anything new. My parents are so supportive and will help, you know, buy snacks and water for set and things like that. Um, but everything is always definitely below $500, always. I don't have the, the dollies and the cranes and the this and the that. and. Um, so that's a big difference, just the overall look. Audio is another big thing, because you can hear us, but not as well as you can in a Hollywood movie, because they do ADR and all that stuff. Um, and then I, I want to say acting-wise as well, because um, I like to get, you know, I try to get, of course, who I think is best for the role, but these people in Hollywood have had years and years and years of training. So I think those are the main three aspects that are very different. We do have more access to, to places, um, maybe just in terms of, I think age does kind of make a difference to some degree. It's, it's a little easier the older you get to, to ask people for things and kind of tell, tell them what to do a little bit. It's really just asking. Um, for my first film, I needed something that looked like a doctor's office or a hospital. And across from my old high school, there was an area um, that was a, it was a doctor's office and they had an available area that I could use and so I just went in there one day and I asked them and that's how it works. So it's really just, you know, connections you may have and asking around. I got a degree in film production and we were actually shooting on film back in the day so we had 16 millimeter cameras and old lenses and stuff so it was really fun. I got to kind of see the process, how it used to be done before the digital age. I use two Canon Vixia HFG 20s um, as well as two tripods. I actually have three tripods, but one of them's kind of broken. Um, so three tripods, and then I have two Rode shotgun microphones or Rode shotgun microphones, um, and that's generally what we film with. They start making movies like as much as you can. Uh, like get a YouTube channel. Um, don't worry about like equipment that much. You know what? It's not gonna look like a Hollywood movie because I don't have that equipment and that's okay. Be humble, like, you, I mean, you may be the most like talented person in a room or think you are, but there's always like 10 people better than you that work harder than you, that are more handsome than you, that know cameras better than you. And it's like, I just think the people that I like now in my life wanna surround myself with and work with and like collaborate with on really, on, on important projects, are people who are just easy to be around, who are like super humble and they just wanna create a better output as opposed to people who like have egos or, or, or think themselves, you know, very highly. It's, our, our world, this industry is like kind of pretentious, especially on the, on the working side of it. And it's just kind of, I like hate that so much. Like the, the best dudes to work with are, are, and the most talented people normally are like, pretty humble.